All right, so today is a nice rainy day in San Ignacio, Belize. Uh, I've been lucky, I actually haven't started a day in rain like this in probably months, so I don't have too much to complain for. Um, we're gonna cross the border into Guatemala and go to Flores, and then I'm gonna visit Tikal, the uh, old mine ruins. So uh, I'll get some more information when we get there. But before we do that, uh, I'm gonna head, the border's like maybe 15 minutes away from here, uh, and then it's another hour and a half, hour and 45 minute ride to uh, Flores. But before that, I'll show you my uh, the shower of death that I got this morning. These things always make me so nervous. Look at that. You don't want to be splashing around too much in there. All right, I'm going to uh, pack the bike and get on the road. Got a great road. Alright, so the Belize side is quite straightforward. Just walk in the building, uh, get my pay my exit fee, get the passport stamped, walk across to the other side of the same building and uh, get the bike stamped out. They didn't even take a picture like they said they were going to, so really straightforward. Hopefully uh, Guatemala is not too much more difficult. Let's go. Thank you. All right, so now we gotta go around the fumigation hut because they do not want to get fumigated. All right, so I made it into Guatemala. Uh, the Belize side was easy, the Guatemalan side was a little more complicated. First, you gotta stop, uh, get the bike fumigated, make sure you don't drive through the actual fumigation tent or you get sprayed. Park the bike, they do that. It was like, I think it was 15 quetzals, so it was less than a dollar. Uh, and then you go into the immigration building, get the passport stamp, that's pretty straightforward. But when you go to get the bike, I knew that you needed copies of all your documents, which I had, I just didn't have them separated. They were in my bags, but it didn't matter because you also have to get a copy of your passport with the stamp in it. So I had to walk into the little weird no man's land, get a copy of all my documents and the passport with the stamp in it, go back, then they import your vehicle, but then you can't pay them at the Atawana. You have to go either drive 15 minutes into Guatemala somehow and pay at the bank 160 quetzals and then go back, which I think is about $30. Uh, or you can go to the little no man's land to the little hut where I paid for the copies and they charge you 200 quetzals, so about $40 Canadian. 
and uh, and they'll pay it there for you. And then you go back and he gives you your sticker, and then you go show your passport again. A little bit confusing, but uh, I've been prepared for it to be a little bit bigger of a nightmare than it really is. So uh, let's go see what Guatemala has in store and go to Flores. Woo! I'm in Guatemala now, I'm not sure. One was a little more confusing. Hola. Hola, buen día. Buenos días. Necesito pago 20 quetzales. So I've made it, I'm just about to cross into Flores. Flores is a little small island on the Lake Petenitsa. Uh, it was actually the last Mayan, the last major Mayan outpost captured by the Spanish in 1697. Uh, unfortunately, they demolished all the massive pyramids and stuff that were on it, but I'm gonna go stay in Flores tonight and uh, check out Tikal tomorrow, which is where they film Star Wars. Ooh.